Hi ladies, I'm here today with these two cute babies and I'm going to be showing um, a little haul that I got um, from thrift stores. I know it's been like a really long time since I've done a video. I just had, you know, usual life stuff going on, been busy and this past weekend I did celebrate early. It was quite, it was actually two months early, but I celebrated my 23rd wedding anniversary with my husband. So I was busy with that all weekend and had a really you know, a nice time, really good relaxing time. So I just want to show you um, some of the vintage and um, items I found and and also regular baby clothes. Um, and my cat is in here, so she might jump in the video. I'm not sure, but just want to show you these things today. And I am going to be back on getting back on more videos um, just more consistently, I mean, hopefully this coming week. So anyway, we'll start with and these things, just about probably 90% of the things, or maybe even more, maybe all of them, about 90% I'm going to be selling in my baby clothes sales. Um, some of you are familiar with that. I do, uh, like, um, it's not exactly auction, but bidding, I guess you would say, uh, or I sell baby clothes. They usually have a set price um, on Facebook or live. So anyway, oh, and you can, there's my kitty. Oh my goodness, she's going to bother those babies. So I'll start with the vintage, I'll show you a little bit of the vintage stuff and then the other stuff. And I may try it on some of the babies, just so you can see how it fits. These I might end up keeping. They're vintage booties and they're like a yellow with a very faint, so a very faint rose pink right there. And then they have the ribbon in the sides, or the top I guess, and it goes around, they're kind of squished. And then the cool thing I saw about these that were different, they're actually in the toe, um, it's open. So I thought that was interesting. So I guess we can try them in this aunt here, um, little girl here with the pink uh, onesie on. That is um, Vera Bell and she's named after a dear friend. That was my grandma's, one of my grandma's good friends um, as I was growing up. So. She has passed on quite time, you know, quite a while ago. Uh, anyway, but this is a named after that sweet lady, and her name is Vera Bell. So we're going to try. What I'm doing is right now, there's a knot in these, so I am not sure. And excuse me for getting the picture. I really don't want to, but I guess I'm going to have to. We're going to try these on Vera Bell. But right now they're knotted, so I'm gonna have to work on that. Like maybe this one will come out. Here we go. This one came out. It was a knot in the ribbon, so this one is not um, gonna be workable right now. I will have to just get that little knot out. We're gonna try it on her, and she might tip. Let's see. Are you gonna tip? She's got a pretty big foot. I've just never seen a booty like that with the tip of it out. Interesting. Let me know if y'all have ever seen a vintage booty. Actually, these fit her. I thought they were going to be way big. You can't see her toe. But let's see if I can. I'm not sure why why the tip would be out. Let's see, there's her toe, but it really doesn't, her foot doesn't go to the end. But I guess maybe the baby's, you know, kind of almost like a sandal. I don't know if that's how it was intended to be. I'm going to lightly tie that. And I'm probably going to end up keeping these. I think they're real neat. But, so I don't want to break the ribbon. Because it's knotted, like I said. So let me see if I can slip this on her foot. And do it with the... Um, I think it'll work. I don't want to break that ribbon, like I said. Are you fine? Because I'm fine. I'm fine. There we go. We got it. Okay. So, if you've ever seen those where the tip of the um, booty is open and it's made to be that way, let me know. I don't know if it's supposed to be kind of like a sandal where the toes are out. But anyway, that is really cute. So, those do fit her. So, I got those. And this I got in a set together. It's another booty. different, Kind of a different style. It has blue on the top. Pretty intricate. And then a cream color. And then... Here's the gloves or the mittens to go with it. So if, well, 
I don't think I'm gonna try those on because I have another set. Let me see that I'm gonna show you that I might try on. Yeah, maybe try the other set on. I don't know. Well, I'll go ahead and try these set and then because the other set is a three-piece set knitted and that one has a hat, a hat. So maybe I'll go ahead and try them real quick. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to be forever. So because I know y'all might enjoy the shorter videos because sometimes depending on the person, I enjoy the shorter videos too. So I'm trying to make it super long. So we're going to put those on. And this is um, Cedric, named after my grandfather. And if y'all know me, you know that. That was 80 piece. And I think we're going to might kind of run into the same problem. Let's see, booties. These ones I think are probably going to be for sale, this set. Like I said, I'm going to keep those that Miss Vera Bell is wearing. Goodness, this foot. There we go. And I do not want to damage these because they're kind of fragile I and mean, they're made well. So I'm going to be careful about it. There we go. Okay. Now we're just going to quickly put the mittens on. They're probably going to be way big, but we'll just go ahead and put them on. There we go. Real quick. And like I said, they all have the ribbons going through the middle of them here. So I'm not going to bother to tie the ribbons because we're trying to save time here. We're already six minutes, so we're going to do this quick if y'all don't mind. Okay. Now the next set, we're not going to do any more trying on a set with the hat. This is the next set that has three pieces. It's really pretty. Look how intricate that is on the cuff. This is like a yellow with a yellow ribbon through it, a light yellow. And it has, and look at the style, of, it has those to go with it. And this came with it. Look at the style of these mittens. They actually have a little finger in there. Just like the mittens you wear out in the um, snow, whatever. So little mittens. And it has this hat that went with it. And here comes my cat again. And look, it looks like it still possibly works. It buttons right here. So we're going to put this real quick on Cedric and see. I did fix his hair, and now he's like, Mommy, now you're going to mess my hair all up and put this hat on me. I know this is winter style, but so hopefully you're not. You're probably getting back from the big old button camera, so hopefully just disregard me. Oh, yeah, that fits him good. It's cute. He has a small little beanie on top. All right, I know that's winter stuff, but anyway. All right, I'm going to show you all quickly the rest of the stuff. I got three pairs of brand new shoes. These will be for sale. And I think they're all zero to three months. And that one even has the tags on it. It's old navy. And they're like a suede. And like a mauve color. The same has colors in my bedspread. Or wine color. I love those. Like I said, I'm going to try to sell all these. Hopefully I won't end up keeping them. Most of the time I keep stuff. These little jean um, denim shoes and these are not sure what brand but they're all brand new shoes never been worn get these cute ones and then these boy ones finally got a boy these are really nice they're thick suede really soft and these are koala baby got these all for great prices and i'll show you quick some of the other stuff i got the other stuff is just regular clothes not vintage got this little towel for bass for um jaslyn and um, my other sasha silicone babies because they didn't have a towel before and especially not a girl towel got that got this is old navy also a light pink top zero to three months Let's see, it will probably, well, this actually probably won't fit her because she wears more of a 36 one. We could set it on her, I guess. Then I just got a white, plain white long sleeve onesie, but those are nice to have. And this cute little shirt. It's not a onesie, it's a shirt. It's like a peach color with a bunny on there. And the last two things, the clothes I got, was this is really cute. It's an overall. And it's got, it's green, like an army green with dinosaurs all over it. 
And another overall. I don't particularly care for overalls on my own babies, but I know there's a lot of ladies that like their overalls. So these will be in the sale. A jean overall, and I believe it's Old Navy. Very nice. These clothes are like looking brand new. And the last thing that I want to show you is just a little really sweet, soft little bunny that's brand new. Really soft. So that will be probably go home with one of my custom dolls that I'll be selling. Or not my custom. One of my dolls that I will be selling that I made. <laughs> not custom. Be, that baby. That bunny will be going home with them. So this is all I want to show you today. I don't want the video to be too long. And the babies are like, well, what are we here for? And they're modeling the clothes. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I will be back um, soon, probably, hopefully tomorrow with a, another video. I'm trying to get back on making videos more consistent now. Um, I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, and Memorial Day weekend will be coming up next weekend. But I hope you're having a wonderful weekend this weekend. And you're relaxed and having a good time with your families. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Stay safe and stay blessed.